beavers really are the sort of very definition of natural flood managers. Millions of years before humans came on the scene and started to try and uh, manage flood risk, beavers were just doing that as a matter of course. And the way in which they were doing that, and they still do that, is to, is to build dams uh, behind which water is ponded. And of course they do that so that they feel safe in that deep water. That water is pushed from often very narrow channels right across floodplains so that the whole of the floodplain can accommodate uh, beaver ponds. When the water comes down the hill after heavy rainfall, it has to flow over maybe an 80 or 100 meter wide dam instead of through a two meter wide channel. And so the flow is attenuated. It takes longer to move through the beaver site than before the beaver dams were built. And that means that our flood risk is reduced downstream. We have even seen uh, flow peaks reduced by 60% in the biggest rainstorms. Th this particular site is, is a really great site to, to study in, in, the out, in the outdoor laboratory what beavers can do when they start to build dams. Uh, prior to any beaver dams being here, uh, the village downstream was, was uh, flooded regularly. 40, maybe sometimes 50 houses uh, uh, flooded when heavy rain fell on the hills upstream. Because of that, the Environment Agency here, they monitored the flood risk for seven years. So we have a won wonderful uh, before beaver reintroduction story about what the hydrology did. And the short story there is that when it rained heavily, the system drained incredibly quickly and unfortunately the village flooded sometimes multiple times a year. Then the beavers turned up and they started to build dams. To begin with, just a small dam across a two meter wide channel, but then as things matured, they pushed that dam right across this floodplain. It's probably 80 meters wide. And in fact, at this site, because we have a, um, another stream system just over the hill, which has no beaver dams, we've been able to do some really neat uh, statistical work to compare a beaver site uh, before beavers and after, and a beaver site with respect to a control site where there's no beaver dams. And that's shown us that at this site we see 60% reduction in the peak flows, even when the biggest storms occur. And in, and in this catchment, just a couple of months ago, we had some large storms that flooded some of the other villages. We didn't see flooding of the village downstream of the beaver site, and that is no coincidence. When you see the site and you can hear the site in the background here, you can tell that this site is now a huge sponge for stormwater, which is then slowly released afterwards, uh, protecting the village.